Hey, I'm Rob, and we're going to check out this Engelbert Schmidt double horn. We've got a cool horn this week. This is the Engelbert Schmidt double horn. These horns are very nice, and a lot of orchestral players and major orchestras use them. Just a quick overview here. You have your first valve, second valve, third valve. Here is your F, B flat trigger. You can see it's a Geyer style setup, but on a Geyer style horn, your F branch, the one that goes into your first valve, comes in straight down like that. On this horn, however, it comes in at an angle. This specific design of horn is called a Knopf horn, and it is very reminiscent of the Geyer style, with the exception of the F branch going into here, into the first valve, and some of the tapering in the lead pipe along with the bell tail. On the reverse side, you have your lead pipe, your main tuning slide here, and your F tuning slide. And then this one back here, this is your B flat return. This horn has two standard water keys on the lead pipe and the F branch. This horn also has some very nice engravings on the valve caps. This horn is unlacquered. Something unique about the Engelbert Schmidt horns is on the main tuning slide here. So if you pull your tuning slide out, this bit here, also comes out. This is your removable H section, and what you can do is you can put this aside, and you can put your tuning slide back, and now you have a horn in a half step higher than before. So you have a horn in F sharp and B instead of F and B flat. This is useful for all sorts of transpositions, but that also means because your tuning slide is so long from that extension, and Engelbert Schmidt designed it so these tubes here are super long, you can actually pull everything out and lower your horn by a half step. So now you have a horn in E and A. So there are three different variations of keys you can put this horn into, and that's really helpful for transpositions. But for now, we're gonna keep it in FB flat. Let's go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> Just some final thoughts. I think it's a really nice playing horn. I think it's very open. It has a nice clear sound. It's just overall a very nice horn from high all the way down to low. That's all, and I'll see you next time.